Hi everyone, Nicole from Mom Trends, and we have this fabulous craft project to share. A no sew 4th of July inspired tulle and ribbon skirt. So fun. So we're gonna give you the easy instructions and let's get started. So Mandy, you and I have been having this conversation since we've known each other that um, I'm not super crafty and sewing definitely makes me run in the other direction. So you came up with this skirt and I think I can do it. You can totally do it. Anyone can do this skirt. Even your little ones can help you do this skirt because it just involves cutting and simple tying of knots. Okay. A couple of materials that you're gonna need are wedding tool. Oh, I found a cookie this. monster. I know, it does look like a cookie monster. It's a little muffet. But it's yarn um, that I found at the craft store. Really, really great color. Ribbons, polka dot red. We've got some red, white, and blue here and then some really nice sheer ribbon. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is get a base ribbon. This is going to be like the belt, the thing that secures the, the skirt to you. You're gonna measure it out and then add like half a yard maybe to um, the ribbon so that you have something to tie a bow or not. Okay. Yep. The tool. The way that I like to measure it out is to sort of like measure from the top to the inside of my elbow. That's a pretty good length. Then you're going to double it up, give it a little snip. I like to put it like through my hands like this so I don't lose the loops. Make sure that the ribbon is um, over top of it and then you're just gonna grab the end piece mm -hmm. and pull it through. So you're gonna start with the tools and the tool's gonna really fill in the skirt. You're gonna do all tool and then you're gonna go in with like your extra ribbons and yarn. And I like to have these a little bit longer than, than the tool. I can yeah. always trim it up. I mean, depending on how tall or not so tall your little one is, you're gonna be able to tell what the appropriate length is. Grab those two loops, grab the ribbon, pull it through, and there you go. Ooh, I can see it's starting to take shape. What I did with our red, white, and blue ribbon on the other skirt mm -hmm. is I made little bows, and to make a really good bow, I have a really easy trick for you. So all you're going to do is tie a basic knot, then, instead of like doing your regular old bow, like you would tie your, your shoelaces, do one loop, do another loop on the other side, fold them over each other, and pull through. That's called the double bunny ear method, Mandy. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that's what it was called. Mm -hmm. But it makes a really nice ribbon bow. So alternating some bows, some ribbon. And it's up to you. And this is something, a project that you can get your child involved with. Let them pick out the ribbon, let them decide what colors and where they're gonna go, and even show them how you're doing the knot. It's a pretty simple knot that anyone mm -hmm. can do. So they can really get involved with this project and make it all of their own. So this was our latest Craft Corner um, edition. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single one and you don't miss out on the fashionable and fabulous fun.